welcome to 8801 Chevy Road, Corrine High School. It's junior varsity action as the Lady Cardinals play host to the Hamilton Lady Big Blue. I am Brandon Wyatt alongside Brian Wyatt from WeAreCorrine.com here on Waycross Community Television. We're going to go right to tip off here and get you the starters as we go. Tip is up. And the Cardinals will take the opening tip, and Michaela Robbins will set the offense for the Lady Cardinals. Starting for your Cole Ring Cardinals, Kel at Kelsey Homer, Caitlin Schneider, Michaela Robbins, Angel Aaron Schwenner, and Maria Drennan. Jane Eichenberger. Jane Eichenberger. Ah. Inside look, Robbins high off the glass, no good. Rebound fought for. It'll be the big blue coming down Coulter with the rebound for the Lady Big Blue, and they'll have their first offensive watch, possession watch it, watch it, watch it, watch of the evening. And their starters, number 10, Laver, number 20, 20, Clemens, number 21, Wells, number 32, Brown, number 33, Coulter. Long rebound, Michaela Robbins will quickly take it the other way, play it off the glass, and a two-point play will possibly turn into a potential three free throws upcoming. It's always turnovers, turnovers, excuse me, points off of turnovers. She takes it hard to the hole and one. Goes off the glass and puts the Cardinals on the board. Foul is on Wells for Hamilton, her first, team's first. And Robbins completes the three-point play. Cardinals show a token press. Not much effort there, but an unforced error, out of bounds, turnover. Lady Cardinals basketball. I don't know if you can call that a press. They were in the general area, but that ball was just, just, just thrown away. Really nothing on the defense caused that turnover. Robbins back to Aaron Swinder. Swing it back up top now. Looks like they're uh, Hamilton's back in a 1-3-1. One, one. Chasing down low, drive, homer, pull up baseline shot, no good. Eichenberger tips it out of bounds. Team rebound to the Hamilton Big Blue. Brown will trigger the offense for the Big Blue. Cole Ring going to challenge Hamilton from the hit from the outside, and they match up 2-3 themselves. Coulter with it up top. Big Blue swinging to the corner. Brown thought about the three, brings it back down. Over top, Laver with it, into the corner now. Clemens in the corner, back up top. Wells with it up top. Brown now in control. Hamilton being very patient on the offensive end. Got to attack the 2-3 from the wing or come to the high post. And after a patient set pull up, three-point shot. And we're all tied at three, two minutes into the ball game. Brown says the heck with the defense. I'm going to hit from the outside. Ties this ball game up, 5 9 as we get a foul on the floor. It'll be on Clemens. Aaron Schwinder on the drive. We get another look here on Waycross. With the three-point play, it looks one way or the other. No one's going to pick her up on that 2-3. She's going to take the open look. Nothing but net. Eichenberger back to Homer. Homer drives. Back to Eichenberger on the outside. Eichenberger over to Robbins. She has it knocked away by Brown. Brown quickly the other way for the big blue. Up strong. In and out. Back down. Two points. She has all five at the Hamilton big blue score right now. Robbins quickly the other way. Eichenberger. Looking to post up, but too far away the basket for that. Back up top, Aaron Swinder swinging to Robbins. Robbins off the drive, strong into the hole, and she's back to the free throw line. This time the foul will be on Clemens of the Big Blue. Mikhail Robbins showing a little bit of aggressiveness and a lot of speed. She sees a little bit of daylight. She goes to it, takes it strong, doesn't make the basket, but gets draws the foul. It's going to put her on the line for the second time this evening. Robbins will bury, barely miss the first one. <laughs> substitution bats into the ball game for the first substitution of the evening. Brandon, I don't know if you've realized in the many years you've been doing broadcast, you got to watch the ad adjectives until the play happens. Well, that wasn't an adjective, so it's okay. Or was it an adjective? That one is buried. Inside look, token 
pressure, turns into full pressure this time for the Cardinals, and they force another big blue turnover. And Eichenberger, baseline jumper, no good, rebound down low, and it'll be a push off on Caitlin Schneider ball going the other way to the big blue. Schneider had good position on the weak side, but just got a little bit of contact as we a uh, little quick little inbound before the referee handed them the ball. Yeah, they inbound the ball. It's a foul, so they have to give the ball back. So there'll be a baseline inbound. And really to the advantage of the Lady Cardinals and set up their press. Brown trying to dribble through. She'll drove by Homer. She'll find some space. Quickly out ahead. No one stops or passes to Wells. Back out. Brown, strong move. Kicks it back up top. Not there. Turns around. Takes the shot. No good. A long rebound. Put back. No good. Rebound will be out of bounds. Less touched by the Lady Big Blue. Yeah, Coulter showed good hustle on that rebound. Stepped in front of the Car Col Ring Cardinal player. Can't just get your hands up and reach for it. You got to step in front. Four corners, kick. Four corners and kick. Outside, Eichenberger. She's going to work one on one. Kick up top, Aaron Swindler to Robbins. Move. Give it to her. Give it to her. Clear out to Robbins. She kicks it to Aaron Swinder. Homer with it. Move. Move. Eichenberger outside. Inside look, Robbins. Kicks it. Schneider. Off the glass for two, and a Lady Cardinals take a 6-5 lead. Schneider wasn't ready for the pass there, but she was ready for the bucket. Caught that one off the chin, but then put it up, collected La herself. Lavin to Wells, the Coulter, and beating the press with the pass. The Big Blue retake the lead. Some self and unselfishness, and that one extra pass led to the easy bucket. Homer lost her dribble, gets it back to Robbins. Cardinals are reset. Aaron Swinder drives and she'll draw a foul in the open court. So two possessions for Aaron Swinder there on the wing. She drives more athletically, gets by her the guarding defender and draws another foul. This time it'll be the first on Betts teams for it. Nobody from Hamilton with more than one foul, but that is four early on Hamilton. Strong move, Eichenberger, she can't finish. Schneider gets the rebound, kicks it up top to Robbins. And the Cardinals reset, Aaron Swinder cutting to the lane. And that's a tough foul to call. I know there's a lot of contact, but both players are really in possession. Aaron Swinder kind of gets the ball a little bit first and yep. retains possession and kind of just gets clothesline. Substitution for the Cardinals. Cassie McGuire in for the first time. You see a couple Cardinals in different uniforms. There was no freshman game earlier, so a couple freshmen have some extra quarters tonight. McGuire gets it over to Robbins. Homer looking, trying to get it down to Eichenberger in the post, knocked away. Coulter with the steal, but she throws it right away. Robbins, steal, kick. Eichenberger up strong, she can't finish. Rebound, McGuire, high off the glass, not there. Robbins rebound, shot no good. McGuire shot, blocked, out of bounds. Eichenberger rebound, put back, and two. Second chains, buckets will add up on the scoreboard. Coleraine showing a lot of hustle right there, but they gotta get back on defense, and they stop the dribble drive. Brown kicks to the corner. Laver back to Brown, baseline jumper is short, partially blocked there. Schneider with the rebound, and Robbins quickly back the other way. Yeah, Eichenberger got her hands on that one. The Hamilton has switched to a man on man. Eichenberger gonna work post one on one, can't hit the shot out of bounds, less touched by the Big Blue. Get another Cardinal substitution. Niana, Niana Lindsay in for Schneider. That was about five offensive rebounds there for the Cardinals in that last possession. And a lot of contact. Referees, as many fouls as they called early, were kind of letting the contact go underneath, which is not a bad thing. Eichenberger, three, long rebound, gets her own. She'll take another shot, step into it. This one's short. Rebound, last touch by the Big Blue. And it remain Lady Cardinal basketball. Yeah, it's off of Wells' hands right now. Again, Colerain kind of dominating on the boards on this offensive side. Off the Just inbound. Very slow, got to get it in, thrown away, out of bounds, and a turnover back to the Big Blue. Unforced error there. Caused by great hands and great defense by Hamilton Big Blue. 
Cardinal showing a full court, or a half court man to man. Robbins guarding Brown. She kicks to Coulter back up top. Laver three point shot is good. That's two three pointers from the off, from the top of the key for the Hamilton Big Blue. They get time to set up there. They show that they can make that shot. And pick the pocket Brown going the other way. She goes past the lever. She can't finish. Rebound to Wells outside. She can't finish. Rebound Brown. She lost control. She'll get it back. Pick it up and reset the offense of the lever up top. Brown with it now. She'll pull up for a three. Not there. Rebound fought for. Scramble down low. Brown will come with it. Knocked away. Last touch by the Coleraine Cardinals. And remain big blue basketball. And yeah, normally on the uh, defensive has an advantage on a rebounding, but this sort on both these teams are winning. We see nice hands by the Hampton Big Blue, but and finished. Coulter off the inbound for two. Biggest lead of the game, 12 to eight. Hamilton Big Blue up. 42 seconds left to play in this quarter. That's a U, not a V. That's Lauer. For the Big Blue, inside look, knocked away. Steal for Hamilton. 30 seconds to play. In the first quarter, Brown might have got with a little bit of an arm push. Drive, step through, and the finish. 14 to eight. Big Blue extended to their largest lead of the evening. And Robbins has it knocked away by Lauer. Out ahead to Brown. She's got no one in front. Stop, go. Homer recovers the foul. But it's two free throws upcoming for Brown. And Hamilton Big Blue. Big turn of events. Colerain had a good press going on and caught the stiff arm. No call. Get, goes down there and gets the bucket. Makes another steal on this other end. Could extend this lead. A close game in the last 45 seconds of this quarter. They could double the Colerain scores with two buckets right here. Get another look at this foul on Homer. Her first team second. First shot by Brown is no good. She got away with that stiff arm because I think she got fouled prior to the stiff arm. On the JV level, there's only two officials working the game, so there's kind of angles that they'll miss every now and then. And Brown will make the second, 15 to eight, 10 seconds. <coughs> Robbins quickly up court. She finds a space, pull up, elbow jumper is short. Rebound, Eichenberger, sheer rebound not there. And that will do it. So after one quarter of play here from Coleraine High School, it's the Lady Cardinals tra trailing the Lady Big Blue, 15 to eight. Thanks to everybody watching at home. Look to wearecoleraine.com for a replay schedule of this game as well as the varsity game. And if you like what you hear and want to be part of a future broadcast, just look for www.waycross.tv slash volunteer. Be behind the camera, be behind the mic. Thanks to all the volunteer who's come Come here and helping us out tonight. And as you see on your screen, 513-825-2429. Thanks to all the guys in the truck. Thanks to all the camera guys. We are nothing without our volunteers. So 15 to eight. Cardinals trail the big blue. Five team fouls that first quarter on the big blue. Just two on the Coran Cardinals. No timeouts used. Both teams have their full allotment of timeouts resetting for the co rank cardinals it'll be robbins aaron swinder and for the drinnen schneider and mcguire so a close game with under a minute left it was only two points and then the big blue from hamilton stretched it out with a little bit of run here we are 15 8 as we start Another and shot no good Rebound, Snyder, she lost it. Robbins steals it quickly ahead. She's gonna push the pace, go up strong, and she's fouled on the way to the basket. Clemens will be called for the foul here in open court. And she goes strong to the hole, but catches a little bit of the body, elbow on shoulder right there. Uh, yeah. No excuses, blocked out. That was pretty close. That'll be the third foul on Clemens here. Robbins will in and out the first. Substitution, Betts into the ball game. So it's Brown, Betts, Coulter, Schneider, and Sams in for the big blue. Robbins goes one of two. Cuts the big blue lead to six. Give Robbins five points on the evening. 
Cardinals back in a 2-3. Brown steps up again. She double dribbled and walked. <laughs> Kind of a hey, late if you're gonna call. if you're gonna commit a violation, commit she, a violation. Oh, she looked she for the thought shot. About she said, nope, nope. I'll walk. Now I'll dribble. That all good. It, it, it's funny. She got a. She. she la yeah, she laughed a little bit. All right, no, no, we're right. Oh, and all Reset. that was called dead because a ball came off the bench. So that's why there was the hesitation, I think. Or she got a nice break. Either way, Brown <laughs> driving, step up, runner, in and out, rebounds. Trinan with the rebound for the Lady Cardinals. Robbins over to Aaron Swinder. Drive not there, cut off. She's looking okay. down low to Snyder, back up top to Robbins. Aaron Swinder sets the screen for Robbins, not there. Cut off by Brown, turn, step, try to get it through, not there. Steal quickly ahead the other way. Hamilton will slow it down and give it to Brown. And unfortunately for Brown there. Looking for the, the cutter on the outside on the wing, but nobody there. The third row does not play for Hamilton. So Robbins will walk it up. Cardinals trail by six in the pass, nearly stolen. Aaron Swinder takes advantage. Open space, shot no good. But Angel Aaron Swinder goes to the line. She'll shoot two. Get a look and just a diving attempt there by Sams, but that's a risk reward there. That's the third time Aaron Swender has used her quickness and drawn the defender to her on the head fake. And I don't know about that. Being, that one was just a missed time there as Aaron Swender buries the first. Substitution Homer back in for the Cardinals. Their main ball handler Robbins will check out for the first time. Aaron Swinder hits both, cuts the big blue lead to four. Brown over the corner, bats, looks inside, cut off. She'll get it up top to Sim, Sams. Sams inside, Coulter back outside, Sams. Shot no good, long rebound off a couple hands. Brown will recover it, the big blue, step into the three point shot, no good. Rebound, Coulter, she lost it, fought for, last touched. Well, the Coran Cardinals off of Angel Aaron Swinder. It'll be an inbound baseline underneath the basket for the Big Blue. And this Brown straight to the basket, can't get it to go. Schneider with the rebound. She'll get it to a guard. Homer quickly guard it outside. She'll get it over to Aaron Swinder. And the Lady Cardinals will walk it up. Aaron Swinders pass nearly stolen. Homer steps into the three and cuts the lead to one. Hamilton Big Blue with two big threes in the first half. Coleraine gets their first one. 15 14. Big Blue leads. Betts back to Brown. Brown off the screen and hits the two. She's not afraid to shoot up there. She has a lot of confidence in her game. And not afraid to use her shoulder there to create a little space. If they're not going to call it, you got to take it. Aaron Swinder threw a screen. She had it, but off of her foot, lost control. Squeezes the pass down low. Tie up, jump ball. Possession error remains with the Colerain Cardinals. Homer with the trigger of the inbound into Aaron Swinder. Up top, McGuire. And before a timeout can be called, throwaway pass. Sands with the steal for the big blue. Ahead to Brown. She drives, cut off. She'll take it back outside. Sands into the culture. She can't handle the pass. Tie up, jump ball. Possession arrow remains with the big blue. Play getting a little hectic. Both teams diving from the floor. It's those extra possessions you can yeah. get. Hustle plays. Cardinals without their main ball handler and Hamilton's Brown might be a little tired. Inbound look, Coulter had it blocked by Drennan and she draws an open court foul. Brendan and Schneider do a good job. Don't leave the floor, just kind of set up a little picket fence there. Make the nice block, draw the foul with the 18 foul for the Hamilton Big Blue. 
That'll put them on the line. That's uh, Dr Maria Drennan. Marie. Marie. She will miss the first, but Snyder had the rebound. Taken away by Betts. Hamilton the other way. Already looking for a big stop. They've got the lead down to three. Coulter kicks it to Sams. Her shot no good. Rebound fought for. And out of bounds. Remains with the big blue. An awkward spot for Hamilton to inbound it. Not on the baseline on the corner there on their own on the front of the Coleraine bench, but no real pressure by the Cardinals. Sams gets it over to Bet. She can't handle the pass. <laughs> Kick back. Brown step through. Out. Schneider with a strong board. And she'll draw an open court foul on Brown. Yeah, a little fl frustration foul. She did well and followed her shot, but just got a little bit of aggressive here. Only the first foul on Brown, but it is the team's ninth. <laughs> Schneider misses the free throw, rebound fought for, and it'll be Schneider coming away with it for the big blue. Coleraine really struggling at the uh, free throw line. This game will be a lot closer. They've got about five, six misses from the free throw line closer. It's only a three, one possession game. Brown on the scramble, shot not there. Schneider goes up tall with a rebound. She's showing her presence there on the defensive board. Coleraine just looking for a little bit of offense. Aaron Schwender from the wing again. Gets it down low to Schneider in the block off the glass. Can't finish. It'll be out of bounds. Off of the big blue. Remains Cardinal basketball. On and complete five for five substitution. Eichenberger, Robbins, Harrell, Lindsay, and Micah Thompson in for the Lady Cardinals. Eichenberger gets it on the baseline. Back up to Harrell. Robinson trying to look for Eichenberger down low. Post move, strong shot, no good. Two more free throws upcoming for the big blue. And a real emphasis from the Cardinals coaching staff to get it to Eichenberger in the post. Yeah, instantly when she came on the floor, she posted up, and that'll be the second foul on Coulter. Hamilton Big Blue's 10th team foul. So with 2.45 left, they'll be in the double the bonus for this entire half. Substitution Hans in the game for the first time for the Big Blue. Maya, Maya. Yes. Micah and Michaela up. Eichenberger doesn't hit rim on either shot. Nothing but net on the second one. Nothing but air on the first one. Brings it to a two point lead. Big Blue break the press with the pass, and Hans finishes. Fresh off the bench with a two-point bucket. You beat the press with the pass, not the dribble, and Hamilton just executed. You find the wing, you find the back cut. They'll be good. Eichenberger, baseline jumper. Just the two-pointer. Coleraine looking to press it up and again. And again, Hamilton patiently with the pass. They'll break it easy. Sams brings it. Hits a cutting. Brown, empty space in the lane. Shot no good. But she's going to the line for two free throws. Just Cole Ring's fourth, third foul. First on Eichenberger. Brown misses the first attempt. Brown already in double digits. She'll miss them both. And it'll be Lindsay with the rebound for the Cardinals. Robbins quickly ahead, spin to the basket. Nice knock away. Defensive end by Sam. She gets it and quickly ahead the other way. Her pass, though, intercepted by Thompson. Cardinals back to Robbins. Kick to Harrell. She's going to shoot the three. Shot no good. Long rebound. Last touch by the Coran Cardinals. That'll be Hamilton Big Blue Basketball. Yeah, Lindsay had had a uh, hand on the ball, but great position on the weak side for the Hamilton Big Blues defender. She gets a hand on the ball, but can't secure it. 
So even if you're not going to get the ball, don't allow the other team to get the ball either. Sam's with it up in the wing. Picks up a dribble. Tries to get the hit the cutter back. Tight pressure by the Cardinals. Brown off the screen. Back up top to Hans. She has it knocked away. Robbins knocked it off the referee. It'll be a scramble. Tie up. Possession arrow two. The Lady Cardinals and a turnover forced by like Kayla Robbins. She probably should have had a one on one, but that ball went off the referee. One twenty left to play in the half. Cole Ring down two, trying to tie this up. Eichenberger jumper is good. And they do. 19, 19, 112 left to pay. Eichenberger seven points. Leading score for the Cole Ring Cardinals. Brown runs into her own screener. Arrow applying the pressure, knocked away by Robbins. Loose ball, she has it knocked away right back. Brown with it strong to the basket. Foul. Two free throws upcoming for Brown. Cole Rain with four, but that's Eichenberger's second. Sat a long time when she got her first foul. I think the coach could have pulled her out with a couple seconds left, 50 seconds left in this half. So you don't want to pick up a third. First free throw is good. Angel Aaron Schwinder in for the aforementioned. Eichenberger, that's the 11th point for Brown, leading all scores. Yes, she has 11 of the 20 points for the Hamilton Big Blue. And it'll be a retip by Lindsay. That's more than 50%. Hey, four quarters, Angel! Aaron Swinder over to Robbins. Angel, four quarters! Aaron Swinder, drive, baseline, floater not there. Strong rebound by Sams, quickly out there. Nobody there. back for the card. No one in front of Betts. She's going to finish for the layup in two points. Stends the lead to three with 25 to play. Harold with a moving screen. Turnover. Cardinals. Right idea. She just got there a little late. It'll be her first, team's fifth. So the Big Blue have an opportunity for the last shot with 14 seconds remaining. Yeah, you gotta think this is going through Brown. And Sam's with it. They're not gonna get a shot off. Just get it into Brown. She can't finish. Time will go out. And after one, half a play here from Coleraine High School, the Lady Cardinals trail the Lady Big Blue 22 to 19. I began producing and volunteering for Waycross when I was in the seventh grade. Since then, I have produced many programs that have won awards on the local, regional, and even national level. Waycross Media was the idea of place for me. I just got involved in, you know, as I say, as a hobby and continued on from there. Anyone with a message that they want to share should come to Waycross, take the classes, and produce their own television show. And welcome back here to the second half of action on Whitcross Community Television. Your Lady Cardinals playing host to the Lady Big Blue of Hamilton in this university matchup. I am Brandon White alongside Brian White. Cardinals trail Big Blue 22 19 at halftime. Resetting for the Cardinals, it'll be Eichenberger, Homer, Aaron Swinder, Schneider, Robbins for the Big Blue. It'll be Brown, Coulter, Schneider, Lauer. And Clemens. And Hamilton had a big run at the end of that first quarter to take a 15 to 8 lead. Colerain wins the second quarter 11 to 7. That brings us to our total of 22 to 19. Hamilton up by three. Cardinals in a 1 2 2 offense or defense, excuse me. They knock it away. It'll be out of bounds. And might even be a box and one on Brown. And that's exactly what it is. It's a box and one on the leading scorer for the Big Blue. 
She'll kick it over to Lauer. And it looks like wherever Eichenberger is going to stay on Brown the entire time. Clemens shot too long. Aaron Swinder rebound. Gets it over to Robbins. Cardinals quickly ahead the other way. Robbins finds some space. No one's going to pick her up. Off the glass. And she cuts the lead to one. Leading scorer for the Cole Rain gets her seventh point. Tied for lead scorer. Eichenberger at seven as well. And the Cardinals still in that box of one on Brown. Forcing another big blue player to hurt them. Clemens can't get the roll. Schneider with the board. They've got to watch, though, because they're going to guard her with Eichenberger, Cole Rain's best player, but she has two fouls already. Inside look to Schneider, strong of the hole. Shot no good. But she's going to line for two. Good inlet pass down on the baseline. Goes up strong. Brown catches her on the elbow. That'll be her second foul. Team's first. She's short on the first. And a big blue timeout. So the Cardinals media adjustments there at halftime. We saw them go to the box and one on the defensive end. See him attacking quickly on the offensive end of the post. And it draws a timeout from the big blue bench. With Brown having 11 of the 22 points, or excuse me, yeah, 11 of the 22 points for the Hamilton. That's half. So Cole Rain coach makes the adjustment. They're going to make somebody else beat them, and that's happened twice. She's kicked it off, and they missed it. Cole Rain picks up both rebounds, holding them scoreless so far this half. It freaked back. That's 50%. That's that Cole Rain math that we do over here. Even without our crack statistician tax. That I can do the math myself at times. You can't say crack statistician. I know. It's, it's still early. There's a reason they only let me do JV basketball games. Yep. A little faster than football for you. Same five for both teams, no substitutions. So it'll be one last free throw attempt. Schneider missed the first. Still attempt in the second year. Schneider misses both. Lauer with the rebound. And Brown will bring it up, guarded immediately by Eichenberger. She'll drive by, kick to Clemens. She can't hit, excuse me, Coulter. She can't hit, shot no good, but she's fouled in the act and goes to the line. Yeah, good help defense there by Schneider. But on the spot is Coulter, and she goes up strong and draws the foul. It's on Kelsey Homer, her, her second team, second of the half. Should be second of the half. Isn't it second of the half? I believe so. Not on the scoreboard, but oh well. That's why you make up stats. Never trust the people at the table. Coulter misses them both. Brown steals the rebound from Eichenberger, and she'll reset. Kick to the corner. Clements with the three points. They're hitting the three point goals of Hamilton Big Blue. If you let them stand still, that's the third different player to hit a three pointer. Homer can't answer on the other end. Schneider can't handle the rebound. It'll go last touch by Hans. He'll say, or Schneider, excuse me, remains Cardinal basketball. Yeah, Schneider knocked it out of Schneider's hands, so Schneider will get the ball in the inbound from Schneider. That's sh <laughs> Schneider for Cardinals with an CH and a kickball violation on the Big Blue. Cardinals ran the play, had the open person underneath. Yeah. Coring with just a little bit of height advantage on the inside. Decides to go outside this time. Robbins kicks Aaron Swinder. Three is short. Rebound. Brown with it. She has it knocked away. Eichenberger with it. She nearly has it stolen back by Brown, who gets it to Robbins. Cardinals reset. Aaron Swinner looks there. She'll take the drive. Kick to Eichenberger. Baseline drive. Cut off. She'll get it up top to Robbins. Swings in the wing. Homer draws the defense. Steps inside. Th shot long. Schneider fighting for it. Rebound loose. Lauer with the, with the rebound for the big blue. And she draws the open court foul.
That's the third foul on Homer. It'll draw a substitution in the game. Micah Thompson. Thompson and making another appearance. She came in in the end of that uh, second half and showed a lot of the defensive spark. Eichenberger's picking up the box and one at three quarter and court. Thompson with the rebound out ahead or passes Aarons. She gets it ahead. Snyder saves it. Eichenberger with it. She'll get it about top to Robbins. Swing it to Aaron Swinder. Eichenberger. She'll pull up and hit it. Step back and buries the three. She'll immediately turn around, pick up Brown at half court in that box and one. Still up top of Eichenberger. That's a traveling violation. Turnover. Lady Cardinals basketball. Just a little bit of pressure, a little bit of caused hesitation by Brown. Good defensive switch right now. And Eichenberger with that step back three. Eichenberger pass. Thompson set a screen extend, anticipating the pass. Sams quickly ahead. Drops it off to Brown, who gets the roll on the finish. Her 13th point. Every time Colreen gets close, brings it within one possession, Hamilton has had an answer. Still at one possession, three-point lead. Robbins looking down low to Snyder, not there. Sw Aaron Swinder swinging at Eichenberger. Baseline drop to Thompson. She can't handle the pads. Turnover. Big blue basketball. Drennan back in for the Cardinals. Hans in for the big blue. Colrain switches up the defense right now. Robbins will apply the box in one on Brown. Aaron's winner nearly with the steal. Kick inside, Coulter gives it up. Hans, her shot is in. Colrain with the good help defense, but Hamilton with the better pass. Eichenberger trying to work baseline. Back up top to Robbins. Back to Eichenberger. She's been effective outside, but inside pass to Drennan stolen Brown quickly the other way. She lost control, but she threw it off of the Cardinals. Just enough control to throw it off of Cardinals out of bounds. R remains big blue basketball. Homer back in. She'll give Eichenberger a rest. Call out the screen. Sam's inbound Clemens. She's cut side. off, gets it back up top to Robbins. Pop up, pop it up, pop it up. Get on it. Pass knocked away. Homer will come away with it for the Cardinals. Robbins down low. Schneider off the glass is short. Rebound by Coulter. Big blue. Might have got away with one there, but Brown will bring it quickly up. She finds some space, cuts through. No shot on the floor foul. Yeah, it comes through a little bit out of control, but Snyder is there a little bit late. If she she got to play defense with your feet, beat her to the spot, and she does the right, she would do the right thing. This time, a little well, late just, in there. Nah, in that case, if no one would have touched her, she would have traveled on her yeah. own. When you got yeah, you got to cut her that much out of control. You just got to let them. Robbins knocks the pass out of way. Brown saves it, but not from the over and back. Turnover. Cardinal basketball, and again they remain in that box and one on Brown up top. Brown does a good job saving it from going out of bounds, but they, she, her teammate Sams can't save it from the over and back violation. And it's really hard to hide that in a beautiful new floor here at Colerain when you've got the light floor with the dark stripes. The referee's right there on the, to make that call. And those two-tone blue shoes really standing out on that black line. Robbins over to Aaron Swender. Ba drive, cut off. And off the glass, no good. Drennan gets it. She lays it off the glass, no good. Fought for down low. Lindsay knocked it away. Brown comes away with it for the big blue. She's out ahead. Pass knocked away by Robbins into the hands of Hans. She gets it over to Coulter. She drives. Shot no good. But Coulter is going to the line for two free throws. Another look there is no one stopped. Cut off Coulter until it's too late. Shot no good. Aaron Schwender's first foul. Team's fourth on the board. I've got him as five, but don't know who has official books. 
First He's free throw attempt is good. And so is the second extend the lead to seven. Matching the largest lead of the evening for the Big Blue. Robbins picked up her dribble. She gets it over to Aaron Swinner, guarded closely by Sams, and she draws the foul. That'll be her first team, second. Homer's pass knocked away, stolen by Sams, who throws it right back to Robbins. Kick to Aaron Swinder. Her outside shot, no good. Coulter with the rebound. Brown with it. Step back, Brown, shot no good. Aaron Swinder rebound. And timeout, Coring Cardinals at the 112 mark of the third quarter. That's their first timeout as the Cardinals trail by seven. Thanks again to Waycross Community Media for helping us showcase our student athletes. And if you'd like to be part of a future broadcast, Want to be behind the camera? Want to be in the truck? Want to be behind the mic? Remember, www.waycross.tv slash volunteer, 513-825-2429. Also have their own uh, YouTube channel, and we'll look for the replay schedule on this on wearecolrain.com following the game. Also, and a time to be determined, whenever they can piece it together, this program will be uploaded on the Waycross channel on YouTube. So... Getting a little FaceTime here, thanks to JP and you guys for the shot. I've never looked so good. Someone say that's a good thing. On the court for the Cardinals, it'll be Robbins, Eichenberger, Drennan, Homer, and Lindsey. For the big blue, it'll be Hans, Snyder, Sams, Clemens, and Brown. Cardinals trail 31-24, 1-12 to play in the quarter. Bullring struggling to find a little bit of offense. Just four points in this quarter so far. And one of them is a three-pointer. Eigenberger looks down low to Drinnen. She can't finish, but she will go to the line. Two free throws upcoming. So then a look. Again, Cardinals immediately attacking the post. Will be the first foul on Hans, third team foul. So as much foul trouble. It's the first free throw is good. Much foul trouble as the Big Blue were in the first half, not so much here in the second. Well, it, you know, they got to the double bonus early, but no player really had more than two. So using a lot of the bench and spreading those fouls out. Into the game, Miller for the first time for the Big Blue. Drain in, missed her shot, long rebound. Out the layup for mention Miller, but Robbins picks her pocket with the steal off the glass. Two points, Michaela Robbins. Rain making a run. Back to Brown. She's got it up top. Long three-point shot, no good for Clemens. Lindsay with the rebound. Out ahead. No one guarding Robbins. Insulated. And nearly with points. another steal off the inbound, and she immediately picks up that box and one. Yeah, they've been switching off that box and one on defenders on there. Brown hasn't been out yet in this game, but finds a cutter underneath. And Clemens can't hit. Drinnen with the rebound. She throws it ahead. Robbins again. She's cut off, but if she can go up strong, can't finish. Eichenberger rebound. Shot no good. Gets it again. Puts it off the glass with 10 seconds to play in the quarter. <laughs> Five. Sams out ahead. Kicks it. Shot stolen. Time will expire. Won't count. And after three quarters of play here at Coleraine High School, we are all knotted up at 31 31. Big Blue and Lady Cardinals are tied. So a 7 0 run to end that final one minute of play. 1 12 of play. So a good time out there by Coach Klotz. Yeah, whatever adjustment she made in the last 30 seconds, they scored more points than they did in that entire quarter, outscoring Big Blue than that Cora. 12 to 9 to bring us where we're at. You see We've that shot, one. that long three by Clemens, not there. And Robbins not really chair picking, just no one got back on defense, and she gets an easy two. And then she got the steal on the inbounds pass, didn't she here? 
No, that was oh, that's play, right. play previous. But let's get a look at the replay. We'll get a straight play. She does once, once and does it again here. Right off another rebound and out ahead. She won't finish, but after the cleanup, Eichenberger will put it in for two points. So resetting for the big blue. It'll be Wells, Coulter, Sams, and Clemens, along with Brown for the Lady Cardinals. It'll be Homer, Robbins, Aaron Swinder, Schneider, and Eichenberger. Big blue into a man-to-man. -man. Aaron Swinner at the wing. Aaron Swinner cut off. Back to Homer. Aaron Swinner looking. Homer, corner, draws the defense. Kick to Aaron Swinner. Back up top to Robbins. Swing it to Eigenberger. Eigenberger gets into the post into Schneider. Step back. High off the glass. Can't go. Rebound. Fought for. Sams are with it. And she's trying to get quickly ahead. She'll drive down the court. No one's going to stop her. She gets it ahead. Kick. Clemens, left hand, not there. Brown with the rebound, and she'll bring it back up top. Kick, Clemens, this time for three, no good. Long rebound, Homer tracks it down. Those teams turning up the defensive pressure here. We got one quarter left to play. We got a tie ball game here. JV action. Robbins gives it up, a little give and go. Right back to Robbins. Pass to Eichenberger, handoff back to Robbins. She will go to line for two free throws. Yeah, hands it off here. Nice little two-person game. Gets down underneath, but Coulter gets there a little bit late. And Robbins misses the first. Struggling from the line, just shooting 50% for the day. And she'll miss them both. Eichenberger knocked it away. Schneider with the rebound, no shot. But she shoveled her feet before she took the shot. It'll be a turnover. Big blue basketball will remain all tied at 31. Still a box and one for the big blue or for the Cardinals on the big blue. Aaron Schneider nearly had to steal. Gets it on the second attempt. She's trapped in the corner. She just gets it away to Homer. But the bounce pass is out of bounds on a turnover right back to the Big Blue. Angel. This Angel. defensive adjustment to keep the ball out of Brown's hand has done really good. Slowed the scoring down on Big Blue. Middle. Inbound Coulter from the baseline. Play from the sideline, Robbins with it. Gives it to Aaron Sawyer. She's gonna step into a shot, then pull it down up to Robbins. Three-point shot, no good. And we got a foul down low after the shot. That's a push on Schneider down low. It'll be her third, team's fifth. So one foul to give for the Cardinals, two to give. When, when you've got a couple low. to give, I don't mind something like that. She's just working hard, trying to work for position. Just kind of used her arms a little bit much, but that's a hustle foul. There's no problem with that. Brown, Eichenberger now applying the 1-3-1 one, one pressure, or er, boxing one pressure. Robbins off the tip pass, quickly ahead. She stops, resets, goes, drives, finds some space high off the glass. It doesn't go. She gets her own rebound. Shot's no good, but fouled in the act. She'll shoot two free throws. That's got to be at least a half a dozen steals from her. Head not transitioned into too many points as they get the foul on number two from Hamilton. 33 for 33. Coulter, two shots. It's the third on Coulter, team's fifth. Robbins hits the first. And that's one of those interesting ones. She didn't cause the steal. Someone else up top got the tip. So depending on the statistician, who gets the steal there. But since there's no statisticians, we can get it to anybody we want tonight. She buries the second one. And we're all knotted up at 33 again with just under five to play in the ball game. Cardinals bo extended box and one, broken by Brown. She's out ahead. She gives it up to Sams. Missed opportunity for the big blue. Kick to Wells, she can't finish. Rebound, fought for, and a good box out by Aaron Swinder. She'll draw the push from behind on Coulter. That'll be her fourth. 
team six, so no fouls left to give for the Big Blue. Hamilton will counter with their own press here. It's a man-to-man -man pressure. Homer gonna drive, kick over to Eigenberger. Step up, jumper, sh no good. Schneider, rebound with it, got to the lane. And I think the Cardinals got away. That should have been a jump ball on the block. I don't know if she got fouled no, there. We yeah, have to she, see the she replay. Got, she's got good uh, position on the outside, beats him to the ball and goes straight up. And yeah, from that back backside really catches. Hans gets her on the Hans. I look like she got it clean. That should have been a jump ball, but the referee called no, it. The girl in the front got it clean. The girl from behind caught the arm. And the foul is on Sam's, her second, team okay. seventh. Schneider will shoot two free throws after this 30 second timeout. <laughs> Cardinals with four timeouts remaining. Big Blue with just three. 17 fouls on the Big Blue, just five on the Cardinals. Possession arrow does favor the Big Blue with four, 36 to play. Not up at 33. Schneider with two free throws upcoming. She'll hit the first. I Give believe. the Cardinals their first lead since the first quarter. Schneider will hit them both. For as badly as she looked on some of those free throws, those are both good looking shots. Out ahead, Coulter cross court to Wells. Off the hands of Coulter, but it goes to Clemens. She has it knocked away. Loose ball on the floor. Tie-up possession arrow remains with the Big Blue. And on the scramble you saw there, Clemens saved it, but she'll get tied up on the floor. Big Blue with the inbound up top. Inbound to Wells. She has it over to Sams. Kick in, loose ball, knocked away off a couple players with a last touch by Hamilton. Turnover, Corin Cardinal basketball. Yeah, Eichenberger is doing a great job just denying the ball, not even letting Brown get to it. Little frustration there as Brown turns it over. Robbins off the full court man to man, had Eichenberger baseline, she brought it back up top, swinging around, Robbins to Hol Holmer. Three-point shot, might have got a hand on it, but Aaron Swinner in with the rebound. Eichenberger with the rebound, put back, no good. And the Cardinals are back to the line. Second chance points again. Offensive rebound from Cole Rain. Two rebounds, two chances. Puts Eichenberger on the line. That's a fourth on Clemens. So that's two Hamilton Big Blue players with four fouls. Eigenberger hits the first. Now Colrain struggling early with their free throws. That's three consecutive to give him a three-point lead. The advantage the, the big blue have had from behind the arc. The Cardinals are more than made up for on the offensive glass. Give Eigenberger two more points. 37-33, Cardinals in the lead. Robbins knocks away again on the box and one, and she's fouled from behind. That's just pure frustration right there. They've, they've switched defenders there. They've taken their best player against their best player. That's the fourth on Brown. Lauer will check in. Timeout, full timeout for the Goldrain Cardinals. Goldrain with their biggest lead at 37-33. Just a 30-second timeout. Just a quick timeout. I don't for the Cardinals. You get 30 seconds, doesn't mean you have to take the full 30 seconds. I think the Cardinals took about five seconds out of that. Well, they just want to collect their thoughts. Doesn't take much to a good coach to convey her thoughts or his thoughts. So, Gave, his, gave the players directions, and now they're ready to go. So Robbins, one in one situation. Let's 
She'll hit the first, and she'll shoot the bonus. Robbins hits them both, extend the lead to six with 3.43 to play. Brown with it up top. Now Homer applying the box in one. Inside look, Wells kicks, Clemens, three-point shot, in and out. Eichenberger, strong rebound. She'll give it up to Homer. Gets it ahead to Eichenberger. Cardinals will get it across half court. Blocker's her best friend in no hurry. Just slow that down, set it up, get a good shot. Robbins slices through the defense, layup no good. Schneider above everyone else with the rebound and lays it in for two. Schneider has come alive this, this fourth period. That's her fourth point of the period and another steal. Robbins ahead the other way, shot no good. Now the momentum has swung in the Cardinals' favor. You know, you take away that 15-8 starter, Hamilton Coleraine has outscored him each quarter. Foul was on Lauer, just her second, but it's in the act, so she'll two, shoot two free throws. Cardinals will be on into the double bonus the rest of the way. Seven consecutive free throws has extended this lead. Shake that eight. eight. <laughs> 43, 33, the lead is extended to 10. Three minutes to play. And Clemens out ahead to Wells. Over to Brown. In some space, she can't finish. Schneider above everyone. Brown stole it right away, though. She'll step back, shoot the three. It's short, out of now, bounds. Ball might have been tipped, but the referees don't see the tip, and it's going to go back to Colerain. I'll get it into Eigenberger. Colerain breaks the press. Eichenberger, that was a, that was just, and Robbins will draw a foul. That'll be on Brown, and that will be her fifth. So Brown has fouled out for the Lady Big Blue. So they've got, they've got time to make the substitution. It'll be Betts in for the Big Blue. So she sits, Brown sits down with 13 of the 33 points for the Big Blue. Robbins hits another free throw. They've hit it when it counts, and then I'll give her 18 points on the ball game. And another free throw, 45-33. 229. Cardinals will drop back into a 2 3. Wells kicked to Betts. And Betts strikes the foot. Turnover. Go around Cardinal basketball. Robbins will set the offense. She'll dribble, lose control, but it's because she's fouled from behind. And Michaela Robbins will go back to the free throw line. Lauer with the foul, her second. Michaela Robbins, another free throw. She might be, all, I won't say anything until this free throw. Never talk about a streak when a streak's happening, Brandon. That's 10 straight free throws from Michaela Robbins. That'll give her 21 points on the ball game. Leading scorer for both teams. Kick down low, Aaron Swinder knocked it away. Scramble, tie up, jump ball, possession arrow two. The Coran Cardinals 
Hamilton, Sucks. yeah, Hamilton Big Blue has had no answer when they went to the box and one. Covering Brown don't really have a secondary ball handler, and that has led to this big turnaround in this fourth quarter. Schneider and, and Miller in for the Big Blue. Maya Harrell in for the Cardinals. More substitutions. Vega and Schmidt in for the Big Blue as well. Brittany Kohler in for the Lady Big Lady Cardinals. I almost said the Lady Big Cardinals, the, the Lady Cardinals, Lady Big Blue. 47-33, just under two to play. Homer, step up, three-point shot. And the Cardinals have caught fire here in the fourth. I don't know if you saw the expression, hope we catch that replay, but she, her coach wanted to yell at her for taking that shot, and she looked over and said, well, I made it. Re pass out of bounds. And full substitution. Let's take a look at this. Here. Homer takes the unforced shot there and looks over and says, I got you, coach. <laughs> Great work by our volunteers. McGuire, Kohler, Lindsey, Drennan, and Harrell all in the game for the Cardinals. Kohler says she's going to take this shot and off the glass. No Lindsey rebound. She gets it over to Drennan in space. Out of bounds. And that probably went off the big blue hand, but no one's going to argue this one at this point. Well, the inbound pass just went in and hit about eight different legs right there. Oh, nope, nope, last touch by Drennan. Good referees call. in great position. Super call by the men in stripes. I wouldn't call it super, but <laughs> it was correct. Stay with their kids. Betts picked up her dribble and double dribble. That was Maya Harrell. Great defense, active hands. Kohler, contact, no call. Long rebound, McGuire. Cole and ran. she travels. And a big defensive, that's 19 to two this quarter. A big fourth quarter for Cole Rain. That's quite a turnaround. One minute to play. And traveling on bets. Yeah, with Brown on the ball game, they really don't have a ball handler up top. Struggling to even just find a pass. Brittany Kohler walks it up, kicks it to McGuire. She'll take a three or a pass to Vega, who's on the other team. Either way, you want to look at it. Vega will bring it up for the big blue. Picks up her dribble. She gets it over. Shot, travel. She thought about shooting, didn't shoot. You gotta either shoot a pass, she doesn't. Traveling violation back to the Cardinals. Harrell looking down low. And she has it stolen, kicked, knocked away, out of bounds to the Goring Cardinals. Just under 19 seconds. Harold gets it inside to Lindsay. Strong of the hole, blocked from behind though by Schneider. Harold knocked it away. It'll be the last touch by the Cardinals. 11.8 seconds left to play. And tie up. We're going to call a foul here. Foul on Vega. It'll be her first. It'll be two free throws upcoming for Drennan. And another free throw for the Cardinals. Did I say they made 10, now 11 straight? Yes, you did. Make it 12 straight. Ah, uh, the charity stripe has been very giving to this evening, this fourth quarter. And time will run out. Shot will fall short. And a 21 to two fourth quarter. Cardinals win 52-33 over the big blue for Hamilton. For Brian Wyatt and Brandon Wyatt from WeAreCoring.com, this has been Junior Varsity Basketball on Waycross Television.
Copies of this program are available for $20 each. Send program title along with your address and check or money order to Waycross Community Media. Attention Dub Coordinator, 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio 45240 or buy securely on the web at www.waycross.tv.